Hi everyone, so today um, I went to the doctor so I kind of just wanted to update you guys on what's going on and why I went to the doctor in the, in the first place. So as you know from my prolactinoma updates, this is kind of going to be like a prolactinoma update number, I think it's three already. So from the last video I posted, I had been working out um, consistently counting calories, eating good, or to the best of my ability as far as like, yes, I have like a cookie or a Starbucks every once in a while. Um, it's hard to just like cut out things cold turkey, especially when, I don't know, it's just, it's just hard. So I'm sure a lot of you guys also agree but I've been really good consistently working out I've been really good um, counting calories so I'm gonna rewind before the doctor appointment visit last week I didn't work out at all and the week before I didn't because I was on spring break for a week so I told myself you know what I'm gonna be in LA with family I'm not going to be hard on myself I'm gonna give myself a week to relax, no workouts, um, not not counting not counting calories because I also went to Disneyland and you know how that goes. So I don't want to put all this pressure on myself as far as like feeling like I wasn't enjoying life. And there are going to be slip ups. There are going to be times where you can't work out or whatever. So I let it go and I was okay with it. So that week. And that was the end of March, by the way. Didn't work out. Beginning of April, um, I didn't work out last week either because I was kind of like getting situated again. Uh, I had school. I had stuff I had to study for. So I just felt like I wasn't ready. And surprisingly, I actually really did miss working out. Um, so that's a good sign. That's a good thing. I, I missed it when I didn't. So that's cool. So I started my workout or my workouts again this week. Um, I worked out on Monday and I worked out yesterday and I'll work out today too. Um, as far as counting calories, I kind of put that on the back burner, but I have felt that my sh my stomach has shrunken because I don't eat, I, I didn't eat a lot to begin with, let's be real, like as far as like portion, but I feel like I'm eating even less now, which is cool. So I didn't want to get on the scale because, oh, so the last time I weighed myself, I think I was like 163. I think that's what I was when I win myself last video. I'd have to check, but um, I had to go to the doctor today, so that's where we come in to this topic. And I weigh 161. And I'm happy about that because last time, um, I think I weighed 163 last video. If not, I, I didn't go up in weight, and that's all that matters to me. And um, yeah, so that's good to know. My oven's going off. I'm baking some food right now. Um, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have five minutes to talk until I have to go get my fish out of the oven. So, where was I? So, I went to the doctor today and it was bittersweet because we went over my prolactin levels, we went over, I asked about my thyroid levels. Everything is amazing. Everything is normal and I'm so happy to hear that. The only thing is that I'm not losing weight and I'm getting really discouraged. I've had my days where I literally just bawl my eyes out because I'm so uncomfortable. Uh, in my own skin, when I say that I'm uncomfortable, it's because I don't feel pretty. I feel hideous. I feel disgusting. Um, I just feel too heavy and I know that that it's true I mean I'm 5'2 I weigh 161 pounds I've never been this heavy I've never been this heavy in my life so it's it's a struggle mentally physically everything like I've told you guys in the past I don't even need to go over it you guys know so she was kind of giving me like okay well what do you eat like how many times a day do you work out are you doing cardio you know all that stuff and then so she decided to up my dosage one more like half a pill but one more day so now I am taking 
half a pill but four times a week I'll start that tonight and excuse me I'll start that tonight and in a month I'm gonna go get my prolactin levels checked again because she said I'm at like 15 or something and when I started my prolactin when I started this thing my prolactin levels were like 90 something and I'm not I should have done my research before the video how dumb but like I'm at 15 right now and that's in a normal range but she wants me to be lower than five like five and like lower is good so that's where I need to be or that's where she wants me to be hopefully this will help me lose weight but if not she's recommended some things to me that I could do through because I have Kaiser so it's like through Kaiser like if you want to lose 40 pounds or more there's like this thing you can go to um, I'll take that into consideration obviously I'm desperate to lose weight and if I need help then I'll go get the help that I need but she also recommended this weight loss pill and and I'm just saying this as a person as a patient I'm not sitting here and telling you guys oh you know go out run and do this this is a learning experience for me I'm learning I I'm, I'm just a normal person just trying to lose weight and um, she did bring up this pill and it's called a l l i ally or ally I don't know how to pronounce it but it is a weight it, it, it helps lose weight and she said it's normal it's it's healthy so I don't want to do anything that's not healthy and I don't want to do anything that comes with a bunch of symptoms on the side that is just gonna you know fuck up my situation even more so I'm gonna try it I need to buy it I went to my local Target after the doctor appointment and they didn't have it um, they have it online but they don't have it in stock at that Target so I think what I'm gonna do is go online do some research because it's always important to do your own research um, whatever you're gonna do you know so just to be educated inform yourself be educated know the symptoms know you know outweigh it is it is it these are the symptoms is it worth it so that type of thing so I'm just saying this for you guys if I know that there are people that watch my video and I'm so grateful for you guys and your and your wonderful wonderful oh my god I can't even speak wonderful words so it means a lot when I see that someone has or is like going through the same things that I am I don't feel so alone so that means a lot to me um we also went over Oh, I had another question for her because it's always good to be, you know, informed. And my main thing is I'm 23 this year, or this year, I'm already 23, what am I talking about? I'm 24 this year in September, so in six months I'm 24. And I would like to have kids within the next, for sure within the next five years, for sure. Realistically, like, like what I want, um, it would be even less than that. I've been with my boyfriend for, um, it's going to be four and a half years next month. So I really do need to know, okay, so what are my options? So she said that I could take, my oven's going off again. Um, she said that I need to take these pills, uh, prolactinoma pills, which cabergoline until a positive pregnancy test. And once I see that, I can stop taking my pills give birth breastfeed and then we go from there but it's important to ask questions like that too for you guys just to be ready for whatever so I don't I would love to have kids you know within two years <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna happen I need to finish up school and I'm almost done but and then we could see what happens but um yeah I would like to have you know it's I would love I want to be a mother and that's something that I I really do look forward to so I had to ask her like oh my god well what about having kids or fertility like how how is it gonna affect it or so she said I should be good but I mean we won't know until I start trying and I obviously haven't started trying to have kids so I have no idea but um, it should be good especially since my tumor is small I 
it is a three millimeter tumor that I have. So it's really, really small. And now that I'm that that I'm taking the steps to control it and you know I don't know if you can really but basically like control it and I started off at the right time so thank god for that but anyways um I'll be right back so I hope this video was helpful to some of you guys out there um maybe it cleared up some questions that you guys had but if you always have questions feel free to leave them down below in the comments and I appreciate every comment that you guys post on my videos it means so much to me um I tell my boyfriend like oh my god this person said this and it just makes me feel so good that you guys not that you guys are going through the same thing because it fucking sucks and I wouldn't wish this upon anyone going through this but to know that I'm not alone it, it's I can't even describe it because I don't know anyone in my life with this or I, it's 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 a tough thing to go through um, and I'm not alone because I have support I have my family I have my boyfriend but when no one else knows what you're going through yeah you do feel alone and it it is really difficult so once again I just want to thank each and every one of you that have ever watched my video or take the time out of your day to comment it means a lot and um, yeah so that's pretty much it um, just to wrap it up from that appointment i'm taking four pills for half of four pills no half a pill four days a week just to clarify it um and i'm gonna try oh this will be a really good video um i'm gonna do research about those weight loss pills those weight loss pills yeah that makes sense um and I am going to see what happens. If they work, if they don't work, um, maybe I can do a review on them and let you guys know. I'm just gonna continue working out, tr eating clean. Um, she also did mention this one thing called Whole30. H, H, oh my God. <laughs> I'm hungry, you guys. I haven't eaten anything yet today. Um, well, I have, but it's lunchtime and I'm hungry. So it's called Whole30, W-H-O-L-E, 30. And it's kind of like this 30-day thing where I, I also have to do research for that, you guys, because I, I haven't. She just brought it up to me today. So she brought up the Whole30. She brought up Ally Pills. And she also brought up this thing in Kaiser that if you want to lose 40 or more pounds, it's like this, like, um, I said like too many times. Oh, my God. It is this like oh my god it's a shake they're like m meal replacement shakes that you drink and I'm not sure I want to do that um you have to pay out of pocket I just rather do something else and if that be my last um thing that I do last thing that I need to try to lose weight I'll do it um because that's like for 12 weeks 12 or 14 weeks that you need to do that for so that that's a huge commitment like not eating food and yeah drinking shakes so we'll see because it's like um calorie restricted um like situation anyways I don't want to go into it because I don't really know myself obviously so I'm like you know I'm like here stumbling on my words not knowing what to say so I will do that and the whole body whole body whole 30 is 30 days you, you kind of like you like kind of like limit yourself on your carbs so you can't have any brown rice no pasta no quinoa um, no bread no dairy which that would be so hard for me because I like yogurt I like cheese um, yeah so I'm not doing that right now whenever I do I will I want to be able to document it for you guys so for now I'm going to do research on the ally pills and if I buy them um, I will give you an update so thank you so much for watching I hope you guys have a great day and sorry that I'm like all over the place today um, it's it's so weird because 
when I sit down to make a video and I'm like talking to the camera because I can't see you guys so I'm talking to myself really um, I my like my mind gets so jumbled and I'm just like okay I, w I want to talk about this 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 and then once the camera comes on I'm like um <laughs> I feel so dumb but anyway so I'm gonna go I have to eat but I want to say I want to show you guys Lola since I always do in all my videos. Hi! Oh, oh, very, very crabby today. Hi! Oh, goodness! <laughs> this is my Nona. She's so cute, you guys. I love her. Look at her little tongue. Oh my god, that's so cute. She is my only baby. And she is, um, oh, how cute is that? She's seven years old. So we're going to go now.